I don't know. But let's see. Little trout. Oh, he spit it. Little trout, maybe like 12, 13. Oh, he's got one on too. Hell yeah. Oh, it looks like a good one too. See the trout? Yeah, lift that baby up. Yeah. It's a beautiful tail too, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh, what? What is going on? Well, I can't get my net out. I just spit it because I can't get my fucking net out. Oh, I, I break, I broke my... What the? Oh, my whole seat popped out. Damn. <laughs> well, let's get it. <laughs> this is a drum. What is it? Oh, nice trout. Yeah. All right, I netted this one. He's a keeper. It's like 17. Oh yeah, he's about 17. All right. All right. After losing a couple trout, finally caught a keeper. Just over 17 inches. Beautiful little fish. So, gonna put him in the bag. So, in the bag he goes. All right, y'all. So we're uh, out here, it's Saturday, we're fishing the backwaters uh, in Virginia again. Got a lot of fish activity um, down over there. Uh, I've just seen a bunch of bait jumping, big splashes. Uh, it's super calm out here, it's a picture perfect day. Uh, you really can't get much better than this, so uh, hopefully we'll uh, get into some fish. Hell yeah. Like I said, I'm just throwing this candy corn shad across this uh, channel right here. Probably falling in like three and a half feet of water six feet here fish seem to be wanting in the center so i'm just kind of slow retrieving and give it a jerk up to get the fish's attention and it's almost every cast so See if we can get one on this cast. There's been a lot of fish uh, jumping throughout this uh, grass line. Get the bottom right here, should drop off. Oh, just missed him. Oh, small trout. Yep, something did grab it. Took it out. Took off the back end. Alright guys, caught a little trout. On the candy corn swim shed. This has been the golden ticket uh, when we were fishing over in Norfolk. A little trout. Seen some splashes going on straight ahead. Figured, you know, throw a cast out. Um, this has been the golden ticket the last couple days, so. Candy corn, uh, fast assassin swim shed. Awesome. And a uh, little like nine inch trout. Fish on the bass assassin again. A little trout, it looks like. Some big fish jumping, but another little trout. Another beautiful little trout. So, release him. All right. Oh, look, a little blue fish. All right. Cute little cocktail. All right, so there's blues here too now. All right. I swear if I get hooked because of you. There we go. Oh yeah, he destroyed my bait. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Tiny little blue. Cute little guy. This is the first time I've seen bluefish back here, which is pretty cool. So all we're doing is we're just casting. There's a channel right here. Uh, it's about seven feet deep. It's about th two and a half feet over there by the grass. And I'm just casting it towards the grass and just bouncing it off the bottom, really. Just slow retrieve, jerk up. Let it, it falls back, keep reeling, jerk up, 
and uh, you guys producing all types of fish, which is pretty cool, right? So cute little blue. We'll uh, we'll let him go. Uh, I already have a blue fish in the freezer. Awesome. Oh, I spit it. Nothing there. Oh, I got a bite. Probably another big trout. Fish on. Another dink trout. There's just dink trout everywhere. We gotta find this hole with all the bigger trout. We know that this place produces 22 inch trout. So I caught them last week. So we gotta we gotta move on. I caught all those uh, big trout. You know the 19 to 22 inch trout were right right there. So they're somewhere because they could eat these fish. <laughs> All right, another little trout. Fishing this uh, steeper channel here. They're sitting like in the four foot range where it kind of slowly drops off. Oh, oh cool, I didn't hit that. So another little trout, let them go for another. Oh, another, oh, get out of my boat. <laughs> get out of shit. Get out of my kayak. Oh, now he's under it. All right, got him. Oh, another dink. <laughs> Alright y'all, finally, after sorting through all those freaking dinks, we got a nice trout. Nice keeper. The size of him. Oh, he's barking at me. Beautiful fish. Um, he's about, about 17, about 17 inches. I got plenty of meat in the freezer, so um, I think I'm going to let this one go. I, just a gorgeous fish. Jeez, buddy, come on now. Letting you go, buddy. Here you go. Before you hurt yourself. So, finally, first somewhat quality fish. Uh, you know. So, finally, because it's, it's been hard out here just sorting through dink trout. Finally. Uh, it's, there's nothing up against the grass lines today whatsoever. I fished all up and down here. I couldn't get a single bite. I had one hit on the popping cork. That was it. And, uh, seems like all the fish are in this, uh, boat channel. Uh, it's about you know four to seven feet deep and um this is where it seems like all the fish are so we're still just throwing that candy corn it seems to be producing fish and stuff so let's see if we can get a few all right y'all we're gonna end today with uh with that it's uh 10 o'clock in the morning I promised the wife we'd go do some pumpkin picking and uh some haunted house stuff for halloween so this weekend so uh, i'm gonna head in now at least we got to keep you know got one keeper trout which is always nice um, I have plenty in the freezer, so no reason for me to, you know, harvest that fish when somebody else can come out here and catch one that hasn't caught one yet. We're looking for dinner. We're probably going to do some trout for dinner tonight since we have so much of it. And, um, you know, it was a rough day out here, man. It was really hard to find the fish. It was just a bunch of dink trout. Didn't see any drum. Like I said, nothing on the popping cord. Pretty, you know, pretty uneventful day based on that, but... And all the fish were sitting right in this boat channel that goes all the way through the backwater. And I, the fish were just sitting right as it dipped down. They were just sitting about three, four feet of water. So, uh, and just sitting there. So this is the first time I have not you know, caught anything on a popping cork out here. So definitely, definitely a different uh, experience out here today.